Hi, my name is Neil from KS Energy. So today I'm making a video to see um, what uh, we would be up against if we connect a couple of lithium ion batteries, the KS K100 in this instance, two in parallel, straight to a Fiat Ducato Chasse motorhome alternator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook them up and put a current meter across them. First though, I'm going to run these batteries flat to the point where they hit about 10.6, 10.8 thereabouts volts. And the uh, battery management system will then shut down the battery altogether um, till it's recharged. So this puts the battery in a position where it's going to draw the maximum possible current it can off the alternator and of course the aim of this uh, this system test as it real world test even is pro probably a better um, explanation is to actually see in the real world what kind of current draw we got so without further ado I'll run you through the setup so here's the setup. We've got um, a three kilowatt inverter um, running there, a full pelt, and it's doing that because I'm running at 240 volts the fridge, as you can see, and I've got the hot plate on here, burning lots and lots of energy. So at the moment we're getting to the point where this leisure battery is going to be conking out very soon. It's saying 11.3, 11.4 volts there on the uh, display. And then up front, if I just take you to the up front here, so we've got the vehicle battery there. That's the Ducato's vehicle battery. And then we've got a uh, KS100 lithium battery there and that's paralleled with a second lithium battery um, which is living under this seat here so we've got uh, 200 ampere hour available lithium ion phosphate KS energy batteries um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook these up via these heavy duty cables and an amp clamp meter and measure exactly what current will it, it be drawing when these batteries finally switch off and the battery management system inside switches its, itself into protect mode. So I'll just uh, quickly run past that. Um, so these lithium cells inside are governed not to fall that they, they um, below a certain voltage um, they're made up of four lots of 2.65 volt cells so as soon as it gets to 2.65 volts or rather 2.65 volts is the specified minimum voltage for these cells so when it hits that voltage the battery management system is going to protect these cells um, because once we fall below 2.5 2.6 volts the uh, cells become rather unhappy and uh, we can actually end up with cell damage so um, fortunately we have um, a very sophisticated battery management system that, and this is one of the offered protections in this battery um, so it's going to shut off soon here we go up to 11.1 volts there now where's that clamp meter here's the clamp meter in here so I'm just gonna switch off here and prepare all of the wiring and come back on as soon as this is shut off so bear with me okay right so here we are you can see the KS energy batteries voltage is um, nearing shut off point We've got our warning bleeping up front there from the inverter. Um, so I've got my cables here, parallel 
to the vehicle battery and I've got my clamp meter here so what I'm going to do without further ado is I'm going to switch everything off here I'm going to start the engine and we're going to see what kind of current charge we're getting direct that's direct from the alternator okay so here we go I've got the engine running um, I've got 0% charge there the batteries are dead of course I'm not dragging the one under the seat out but that will be in the same condition uh, two batteries in parallel here um, so the voltmeter confirms that uh, the Libyan battery is 10.72 volts there the vehicle battery we have 14.33 with the engine ticking over there nicely so that's fully charged and the alternators happily keeping the vehicle battery up at that uh, top end so without further ado I'm going to zero the clamp meter and I'm gonna put this straight across the positive battery terminal so then we've got the alternator with the battery in parallel with 2KS Energy 100 amp deep cycle lithium phosphate batteries. Let's see what current we get drawn. Okay, we're going up there to touching 94, 94 amps there. And let's have a look at the voltage. We've got 11.72 volts there. So that's pulled that right down. 13.23 there, 11.92 there, so we've got 100 amps flowing through these two sets of cables there and the resistance is causing that voltage drop but this is what we're interested in, the current draw. So if we were just using the one battery and I'll just knock that out, So now we've just got the one battery and that's dropped now to 68 amps of draw. So this is the kind of, uh, I suppose, stress one can expect. A fully discharged lithium ion battery, a KS Energy one, I should say, because other manufacturers can be completely different. But this is the kind of stress that we can expect to be placed upon the alternator in um, a Fiat Ducato. And this is a 2.3 Euro 6 Ducato 2017 model. I believe the spec of the alternator is a maximum 160 amps it can spit out. So even charging the two batteries together here as we're doing so now that's rising back up there to the 75 80 obviously when it was completely flat it was touching almost 90 amps uh, that's the kind of stress that we're putting on that alternator um, now I'm sure you'll agree with me 160 amp alternator I mean that's no sweat is it really look that's how long have I been talking now a couple of minutes and that's dropping down to 70 amps of draw now there's absolutely no way this alternator is going to be stressed stressed so you've got to ask yourself you know okay a battery battery charger is nice it's going to maximize your charge potential by applying the ultimate voltage to charge these KS Energy batteries. But um, just parallel with the vehicle alternator, I think, um, I think there's no problem at all, even with two. 
Okay, thanks for now. Okay, fellas, so um, I hope you found that video useful. Um, just to recap then, so we had two KS Energy Livium batteries there in parallel, and we had maximum current draw of just touching 95 amp for, what, 10, 20 seconds or so, dropping to 90 amps. And then when we pulled one of the batteries out of parallel, so we're just charging the one battery, we had a maximum current draw of 70 amps, quickly falling down to 65 and 60. Um, and this directs off the alternator. So the moral of this uh, video really is if you're going to connect these KS battery, K KS energy batteries directly to your alternator, and if you would, it's probably you can probably do it for a split charging relay of some sort. A, you must absolutely make sure that the split charge relay can handle that current. So we're talking, you know, at least 70 amps for the one battery, and what 9,500 amps, let's say, for two batteries in parallel. Um, so you must be able to hurt, handle that kind of surge current. Secondly, of course, your wiring. Your wiring must absolutely be able to handle that kind of current. So if you've got the one battery, at least 70 amps, and the two batteries, at least 100 amps. So, hope you found that useful. Bye-bye for now.